black holes, mysterious cosmic objects with masses hundreds of millions of times that of the Sun, are surprisingly small for such a huge mass. Our own Milky Way galaxy orbits a black hole in the constellation Sagittarius. Recently, scientists made the discovery of the jaw at the heart of these enigmatic cosmic beasts, revealing something shocking and terrifying about the black hole that challenges everything we thought we knew about these cosmic wonders. According to Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, black holes have such a high surface gravity that even light cannot escape from them. Gravity, as described by Einstein, is not a force like magnetism. It is a consequence of how objects with mass and energy deform or bend space and time. Imagine a massive object like a star. It has enormous mass and energy, which causes a deep dent or curvature in the surrounding space and time. This warped space and time creates a gravitational field, and the more massive an object is, the stronger its gravitational field is and the deeper it goes. Black holes are the most extreme objects in the universe, packing unimaginable amounts of mass and energy into a small space. This powerful gravity makes a very deep and very strong dent in the fabric of space and time. Near a black hole, the gravitational force is so incredibly strong that it forms an event horizon. The event horizon is not a physical wall. Space moves seamlessly through and above it. This invisible limit is the point of no return. If something crosses this boundary, like an ill-fated spacecraft or even light, it will never escape the black hole's grip. It's like a black hole has an invisible force field that contains everything, including light. Theo emphasize how extraordinary this is. Imagine a flashlight shining. Light rays travel incredibly fast, about 300,000 kilometers per second. But if you were in a black hole, the speed needed to escape would be faster than light, which is impossible with our current understanding of physics. Any light that enters a black hole is trapped forever and cannot be released. Light from further away bends around it, creating a mysterious boundary called an event horizon. This border cannot be physically touched or seen. It is a mathematical concept that indicates where we can no longer observe what is happening. The size of the event horizon depends on the radius of Schwarzschild, which is determined by the mass of the black hole. The more massive a black hole, the longer its event horizon. Scientists use a formula named after the astronomer Carl Schwarzschild, who invented it in 1916, to calculate the event horizon ray. For example, a black hole with a mass 10 times the mass of our sun would have an event horizon radius of about 30 kilometers. At the core of a black hole is a so-called singularity. All the mass and energy of a black hole, no matter how massive, is compressed into an infinitesimally small, dense point called a singularity. The singularity is infinite curvature and infinite gravity, which is exciting but also challenging because our understanding of physics begins to crumble as we try to understand what's going on there. Scientists continue to explore this enigmatic region in hopes of uncovering the secrets that lie at the center of black holes. Black holes are born from the life cycles of massive stars. These stars are cosmic powerhouses, fueled by nuclear fusion reactions in their cores, where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing vast amounts of energy. As long as the star has enough hydrogen fuel to support fusion, it remains stable. But when they run out of hydrogen, they start fusing heavier elements like helium, carbon, and oxygen. Each fusion reaction with heavier elements produces less energy, so the star burns faster to maintain its equilibrium. Eventually, the star reaches a critical point where it can no longer fuse elements, and its core collapses under its immense weight to form a black hole. Stars less than three times the mass of our sun become white dwarfs instead of forming black holes. These dense lumps of carbon and oxygen continue to emit residual heat light. Stars weighing about three to 20 times the mass of the sun explode in a supernova, leaving behind an extremely dense ball known as a neutron star. The mass of these neutron stars is up to twice that of the sun, but their radius is only about 10 kilometers. Stars with masses greater than approximately 20 times the mass of the sun collapse into black holes whose cores shrink to zero volume and infinite density. There are different types of black holes. 
stellar mass black holes are formed by massive stars that are nearing the end of their journey and whose mass is usually from a few to several tens of times that of the Sun. They are quite common in our galaxy and other galaxies. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, are cosmic bodies with a mass millions or even billions of times that of the Sun. These giants are found at the centers of most large galaxies, including the Milky Way. They probably formed during the early universe from massive clouds of gas and dust or from the merger of smaller black holes, intermediate mass black holes, which lie between stellar masses and supermassive black holes, are somewhat mysterious and not often observed. Scientists speculate that they may have been formed by the collapse of incredibly massive stars during the early cosmic ages, or by the merger of stellar mass black holes in dense star clusters. First black holes, possible remnants of the beginning of our universe, may have formed from fluctuations in the density of matter and energy shortly after the Big Bang. They range in size from tiny to massive, but are hypothetical and have yet to be directly observed. Black holes can also spin. Non-rotating black holes are described by the Schwarzschild solution in Einstein's theory of general relativity. These black holes have a spherical event horizon and a singularity in the center. Rotating black holes described by the Kerr solution have a flat event horizon and an annular singularity. Their rotation creates an ergosphere, a region where a spinning black hole drags space and time along with it. Kernuman black holes which both spin and carry an electric charge, are described by the Kernuman solution. The electric charge distorts the horizon and singularity of these events. Scientists have discovered supermassive black holes, true cosmic heavyweights with a mass more than 10 billion times that of the Sun. Using gravitational lenses, astronomers detected these giants using a technique based on Einstein's theory of general relativity in which massive objects bend and distort the path of light. The Hubble Space Telescope discovered a supermassive black hole in the galaxy cluster Abel 1201, located 2.7 billion light-years away. This black hole weighs about 30 billion times the mass of the Sun, one of the largest ever observed. Gravitational lensing allows you to observe and study objects that are otherwise too dim or hidden. By measuring the bending and broadening of light caused by massive objects, scientists can estimate their mass and location. That method was used to reveal the supermassive black hole Abel 1201. The discovery challenges our understanding of how black holes form and grow, suggesting that they can form through rapid accretion of matter or dramatic mergers with other black holes. This discovery also provides an opportunity to test Einstein's theory of relativity under extreme conditions and to study the nature and properties of dark matter. Dark matter makes up most of the mass of the universe, and studying supermassive black holes can shed light on its elusive nature. Gravitational lensing creates optical illusions when massive objects bend light, allowing us to study cosmic phenomena such as black holes. Gravitational lensing takes many forms. Weak lensing causes subtle changes in the shapes and positions of distant galaxies, providing insight into the distribution of dark matter. The strong lens produces dramatic effects, such as multiple images or arcs of light around the lens, that help scientists measure its mass and shape. Microlensing with smaller objects such as stars or planets temporarily magnifies the background stars, helping to find exoplanets and exotic space objects. For the first time, scientists have observed light coming from behind a black hole. Using telescopes such as the European Space Agency's XMM Newton and NASA's New Star, they detected X-rays from a supermassive black hole 800 million light-years away. As the gas fell into the black hole, it heated to extreme temperatures, forming a glowing heart. Some of the X-rays bounced off the gas behind the black hole and were bent by its massive gravity and magnetic field, making them visible to us. This observation confirms Einstein's prediction that gravity can bend light. The discovery involved several days of observing in 2018 and showed X-rays of different colors and late arrivals. These cells were echoes of light from beyond the black hole. Einstein's theory of general relativity explains that gravity distorts space and time, allowing light to bend around massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, Combined with magnetic fields, makes cells visible from certain angles. 
This discovery confirms a key prediction of Einstein's theory and deepens our understanding of black holes, their corona, magnetic fields, and accretion disks. Multi-wavelength astronomy, using different types of radiation, played a crucial role in this discovery, opening new ways to study black holes and other cosmic phenomena. I and another exciting development, astronomers discovered a wandering black hole using the Hubble Space Telescope and gravitational microlensing. About 5,000 light years away, the black hole has a mass seven times that of the sun and moves at a speed of 45 kilometers per second. It probably formed from a massive star that collapsed dramatically and entered the Milky Way in a supernova explosion. The discovery of a black hole sheds light on the cosmic journeys of such objects and their interaction with the environment. The black hole's strong gravity bent the light from the background star, revealing its existence.